Hi everyone, so this is going to be a very important video for all those guys who have taken admission into MTech first semester this year. So for you, you guys, uh, the semester would have been started and you guys must have taken the admission as well. All the basic, uh, what do we say, all the basic things would have been completed. Now you are going to enter into the first semester. So a lot of you, most of you guys would be touched about it. Like what, how the house MTech goes, what will happen in MTech, how do I study, how it is different from BTech. So all the things we will discuss also like uh, if some guys are some guys might be overconfident as well that sir we are going to just for the thing I am taking so these kinds these kind of things may happen but let's just talk about a practical scenario what you should do in the first semester I am not going to tell about the complete I am taking in the first semester how you should be proceeding okay so let's talk about the first month in the first month what you need to do the most important thing is get settled and find your interest okay First get settled, first get to know if you are doing MTech because you want to or you just saw people doing MTech and you are proceeding with that. In one month you go to the classes, you see if you are interested in the classes uh, or not, if you are interested in the subjects or not, like those subjects are like do you find those subjects very helpful for you or you don't find working there or you don't find doing the MTech. So you can uh, explore other, uh, other opportunities as well, you can go to PSUs, all the kind of things also you can do. So first month is first let's let's get settled go to the classes understand the things like if you are happy with the classes or not or you need to refer to other sources or you need to go to the other field as well so first go to go to the classes find your interest so this is what you need to do in first month don't go with the NPTEL lectures all kind of things you don't need to do in the first month okay and don't start doing some projects just because some other guy is doing don't uh, put pressure put needless pressure on your brain that this guy is doing a lot of good things and I am doing nothing this guy is doing that is good for him but you should not take pressure just because some other guy is doing that i have seen this thing happening with a lot of people in btech and in mtech as well like there would be three to four guys who are pretty good so it's not that your competition is with them your competition is with yourself okay you just need to improve yourself that's why you came into the mtech and uh, did not go to the psu right so you just need to improve yourself right so first get settled and find your interest now in one month you would realize if you are interested if you are happy with your college lectures or not. So first we will go to this slide, then we will come to the CGP. So in the first month, you will realize if you are happy with the college lectures or not. So if you are fine with the college lectures, because most of the time people are happy with the college lectures, because this is not like BTEC. In BTEC, what happens is that we don't understand anything. So in BTEC, professor also doesn't put any pre, uh, doesn't put any effort and also student also doesn't put any effort. Like most of the people wish their BTEC. I know this thing. You also must have wasted your BTEC. But your MTEC will not be wasted. Your professor will also be putting efforts. In the first class only, he will be telling you what kind of things he is expecting from you, what kind of things he is going to teach you. And at the end of the semester, what kind of things you will be comfortable with. So all like MTEC course curriculum is extensive. You are not going to waste your MTEC. That's for sure. If you put a good amount of effort, then, then only. If you just take MTEC very lightly, then you might be wasting your MTEC as well. So first, you will get to know if you are happy with the lectures or not. If you are not happy with the lectures, then you can go to the NPTEL courses. If you are not happy, okay, doing NPTEL courses doesn't guarantee you any placement. Doing NPTEL courses doesn't make you intellectual guy, okay. NPTEL courses are certainly pretty good, very, very good. But if you are happy with your class lecture, if you are happy with your curriculum of your class only, then needlessly don't put pressure on your on yourself and that I need to go to NPTEL courses only. It's it is better to refer MTEL courses if you are not able to understand any, anything in the class because MTech course curriculum will be so extensive that you will be doing the assignments and all those kind of things only and you will not get much time for the MTEL courses. So it's not that I am telling you to give priority to the MTEL courses and lesser to the class. First go to the class if you are able to understand then it's pretty good. If you are not able to understand then you can use as a reference. Okay. So then you can use as a reference MTEL courses. And the most important thing in MTech is Securing CGPA. So how much CGPA you need to secure? So till the end of the second semester, you need at least eight CGPA. Till the end of the second semester, you need at least eight CGPA. So in the first semester, you should try getting above eight point five. Okay, above eight point five. There would be a few companies who wouldn't allow you if your CGPA is less than eight. Or if you have the good CGPA, then it it's a edge. Okay, it's an edge, edge above the other candidates. So I would say try to keep CGPA above eight point five. And if you need to keep the CGP above 8.5 then what you need to do you need to study well so in the first semester what will happen there will be very less projects and all kind of things there will be very less projects there will be extensive 
theory part. So they will teach you a lot of theory in most of the colleges this will happen. Okay, in most of the colleges, in some college like IIT Kanpur and in IIT Madras, the project will start from first time onwards only. Okay, most of the time it happens that some professor will start their project on from first time onwards. But mostly 96% chances is there that you will be reading the theory, you will be studying the theory in the first semester. So focus on that. Don't run behind projects. Don't run behind NPTEL lectures. Focus on that particular theory. And if you are not able to understand, then take reference of NPTEL lectures. Okay, this is what I am telling and try keeping your CGPA above 8.5. Now, if you if you are going good in college as well, you are able to uh, complete the assignments as well, you are able to do everything of the college and now still the time is left. So, what you can do? What I what did I, what did I just say? That uh, college a kambi ho gaya hai. CGPA bhi aapko lagara ki mein badiya se maintain kar sakta hoon. Sab kuch chal raha ekdam. Everything regarding the college is smooth. Everything regarding the college course curriculum is smooth, then this is the most important lecture, okay, which you need to cover. No matter whether you are interested in analog IC design or in digital IC design, for both I am saying, okay, both analog and digital, both guys, no matter whether you are in analog IC design or digital IC design or analog electronics or digital domain, embedded domain, whatever it is, this is the best course and the most important course for any IC design engineer, okay. Even if you get into the industry and work as an analog design engineer, then also you will need to use this course, okay, somehow. So, this is our first priority. This course is our first priority, Digital IC Design by Professor Jan Kinevan. I could have told you to buy my course as well, but I am not doing that because I know this is the most important course. This is Digital IC Design, okay, IC Design. You will be studying the transistor level of digital blocks, transistor level, MOSFETs. Okay, you will be designing your digital blocks from the MOSFETs. You will see the power dissipation, all kind of things. So, as an IC design engineer, no matter whether you are analog IC design engineer or digital IC design engineer, you will have to use these things. So, very interesting course and he has taught very, very nicely. So, this should be our first priority that we should start this course, digital IC design. In the course curriculum as well, it will be taught and this is also a very good course. So, digital IC design by Professor Jain Kitaman. Okay, from IIT Madras he is and absolutely brilliant course it is. And, and let me tell you, uh, in the organization that I was working in, there also I had to use some of the concepts from here as well. Okay, as I was working as analog ICT engineer, still I had to use some of the uh, content from here. So, you can understand that uh, for everyone it is very helpful. So, this is the first course that you need to go with. Okay, so no matter which branch are you preparing for. Then what else you can do? Then you can proceed with, about, with analog as well, in particular analog domain particular analog domain, if you are going into particularly analog domain, so what you can do, there are analog circuits by Nagendra sir, okay, analog circuits, there are two, two playlists by Nagendra sir on YouTube, analog circuits and analog IC design, okay, so you can study analog circuits from there, from Nagendra sir, then you can, or you can study from Rajavi sir, in Rajavi sir you will find uh, diode circuits and uh, CMOS VLSI design very pretty good, so you can study from there, or from Cambian sir also, there is a playlist by Cambian sir, that is microelectronic circuits, MUE, in short form he has written MUE. So, you can study that Cambian search playlist as well. Okay. So, these things you can study or by taking their reference only or by solving some NPTEL assignments. So, all, combining all the things, I have designed this course as well and look VLSI mastery. So, you can proceed with this course as well. Okay. If you want to, if you want to study from them, then certainly you can study from them. If someone who is like, uh, who is looking for something on YouTube, then you, he can certainly uh, refer from them. Or also, I have also made cohort 0 to 10 cohort 0 to 10 that is freely available on YouTube only on white YouTube only it is available that is basic electrical science so there I had taught RC circuits RL circuits those kind of things and then in analog VLSI master you get all the kind of CMOS VLSI design diode circuits you get op as well op design as well how to design two stage op so these kind of things also I have taught in these lectures also you will get how to design all the all kind of things so this is the pure analog IC design which you can study so you can take call on as per you but before this like uh, you can study parallelly, you can study this analog IC design and digital IC design parallelly, okay. Wait a second. So yeah, what I was saying, you can study these parallelly. This is digital IC design, this is analog circuits, okay. Whatever we have to talked here, that is analog circuits. This is not analog IC design. So after this, you will have a pretty good idea of analog circuits, okay. Pretty good idea of analog circuits and you, if you are studying from here, you will be prepared for the placements as well. But I am not asking you to rush in into placement. 
that's i am preparing for placements only preparation placements only don't rush into the placements in your first semester okay there is a lot of time left you will be do, able to do pretty good when the break comes when the semester break will come i will bring up another video what you can do in that particular break so there we we will talk about placements but don't rush into placement here whatever that you are studying that you are studying for learning purpose not for the placements okay in the first semester you don't need to think about placements placement placement only thing you need to worry about is your cgpa and learning that's it okay so here you will be studying analog circuits and i forgot to include something in this slide that is once you are done with analog circuits you can go with analog ic design analog ic design by nagender sir okay so i told you there are two playlists one is the analog circuits other one is the analog ic design by nagender sir so there he has taught ic design how to design two stage op amp all the kind of things he has taught also there is a course by shanti pawan sir as well so a lot of courses are there once you start studying you will get to know that which which one to refer how to which things are different in which courses so certainly you will get to know here i am not putting more pressure on you this is just all kind of things you will do once you are comfortable with your course curriculum of mtech after that you can do all, the, all kind of all these kind of things okay by shanti pawan sir as well the course is available by nagender sir as well the course is available okay so yeah you can refer these courses and log ic design i talked here okay yeah and for like what is the prerequisite for this course so basic digital electronics you need to know just revise gate level gate level digital electronics okay it's not a prerequisite if you if you already know the gate level digital electronics then it will be good for you gate level digital electronics just the basic thing it's not that i am asking you to do the problem solving just you quickly revise your notes first you will study about the gate gates and you study about the k maps and then you study about combination sequential flip flops counter all kind of circuits you study and basics of logic families also you study there so quickly revise those notes that's it okay also before starting this lecture you can watch my most physics lecture as well most physics which is available on our prefusion channel only there is a playlist available as well you just need to type most physics by himanshu agarwal or you can go to the playlist session on a prefusion channel so most physics also will be clear okay i am not teaching most cap here only the most physics which is required for ic design part so that i have taught in the most physics lecture so that also you can watch okay cmos inverter i have also told all those all kind of things you will study from here as well i take i have taken their reference only to make the videos just an in a easier language i shouldn't say easier language they have taught also very nicely i have i know i like i have full respect for them i have studied from them just uh, i modify the, a bit of language and make my own content i take reference from 7 to 8 lectures and then i make some content so that this is what i do this is what a teacher does so yeah by taking their reference only i am making the videos just uh, the, it, it's just that i have taken a lot of references so and from there i bro uh, brought my content and all these teachers are like i am not even 5% of these teachers i know that right so yeah so it's up to you how you need to follow how you need to proceed right now people will have any programming language sh should we learn you can learn if you have time you can learn python or c++ any of these two any one of these two you can learn and uh, very low coding also you need to learn but very low you will learn after studying the ic design part and after studying the digital electronics okay after that you can learn these programming languages as well okay and yeah don't this line is very important don't run behind making a lot of projects make quality projects now i have seen like people get into mtech and then they say that i will make 10 projects in first year only no use of that put that in your cv no one will ask you any question from that make good projects if you are making a op amp you if you are making a two stage op amp if you are making a bgr circuit make that pretty good get the spe specification right if you are making two stage op amps first set the dc printing board first tell first understand what kind of biasing you will use why you are using that kind of biasing and what is the meaning of that biasing first you need to study about those biasing parts so go slowly don't rush in okay go slowly then go to the frequency response see that frequency response and you see um, like uh, you can improve the gain then you can improve the phase margin as well see the miller compensation there so all kind of uh, things you can do slowly you need to proceed with that okay don't rush in first uh, that's why in all the mtech colleges i have seen that first semester is all about course work so they will teach you theory and you might seem like that sir we are also not getting any practical exposure practical exposure kuch nahi hota theek hai ये फालतू के नाटक होते हैं जिनको थ्योरी से डर लगता है ना वो ये बोलते हैं कि प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपोजर नहीं मिल रहा तो प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपोजर इज नथिंग लाइक पीपल रन बिहाइंड प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपोजर भाई कि जो चीज बढ़ी है उससे पढ़ के मैं आज रात तक खाना कैसे बनाऊंगा लोगों का ये होता है बस कि मेरे को बस बता दो कि इसको मैं यूज कैसे करूंगा पहले पढ़ तो लो 
like people in the industry will be there like they will be there for 2 3 years i am talking not talking about industry i am talking about i am not talking about mtech i am talking about industry people are there in, in the industry for 2 3 years and they do not know where the final product where the final product will go this is the thing they don't know and they are in the industry for 2 3 years making 20 30 lakhs a year so like money is not an issue i am not saying that money is important but what i need to tell is that you should not run behind like where it will be used first learn you will understand where it will be used in the final output you will understand but first learn and don't run behind project projects that i have made this project what is your project like you will make if you are making 10 projects then you will you are simply copying from somewhere you are not doing anything on your own so make quality projects put that in your cv so that interviewer is also interested in you okay so yeah so make quality projects so yeah this is that's all and i don't think i missed any query did i miss any very very low yeah so all courses also i taught so in brief i will tell you what i have told so don't run behind any projects or anything like that don't run behind npt lectures on, uh, as well first go to the course course curriculum see the course curriculum first see the classes how they are teaching if you are interested if you are, if you find it uh, interesting and if there is no problem then you can certainly be happy with that then if you are not able to understand clearly in the class then you can go to the npt lectures and uh, what what all are the NPTEL lectures like if you are understanding everything in the class then it's fine and if you have managed if you have some time then you can proceed with this digital ic design course or for analog as well you can follow these courses or you can go with my course as well and then any programming language you need to study and uh, this is the thing that you don't need to run behind the project and make quality projects okay so yeah that's it from my side if you have any other doubt then you can put in your comment section also one more thing i would like, like to add try doing the assignment on your own okay Try doing the assignments on your own. Don't copy from anywhere. Try doing it on your own. Take help. Take reference. But copying is different thing. Taking reference is a different thing. We also take reference. As an educator, we take reference from rival teacher as well. We also see like what they are doing. How they are teaching. But we don't copy. Right? Those who copy, they, they do not survive for long. So, don't copy. Take reference. Take help. And make something on your own. Do it on your own. Okay? So that will help you to develop your problem solving skills also you will be you will become a better engineer you will do mtech in a better manner rather than the, those guys who are coping and getting more grades <laughs> this also happens like there will be some guy who will who will be doing it everything on, on his own and he will get lesser grade and there will be some guy who will be doing it who will be coping and get more grade this also happens in mtech sometimes but yeah it's good for him for the grades but uh, if you see the top level or if you see the final output then the guy who is doing it on his own he is learning more so yeah that's it from my side if you have any other query you can put in the comment section okay then thank you very much and you can consider subscribing this channel as well okay yeah